in this video series we are building an application for job recruiters so that they can find the skills and the talent uh, they are looking for for example uh, it looks like this uh, here the recruiter ask a question in natural language uh, in this case english and then they get the output uh, or the uh, results they are looking for okay so we have started with uh, the raw text from the resumes uh, similar to this and then we have defined a schema for the graph database which is these five nodes and the four relationships between them and then we have defined some prompts uh, which we can use with llms to extract the information we are looking for and then we have inserted this information into the graph database right uh, which is uh, let me show you maybe uh, person yeah so something similar to this so here we are looking uh, at one person a resume uh, with the skills they have uh, the positions they have the companies they worked at and the education qualification etc they have now uh, this is good but we can ask the questions only in the cipher uh, language right the job recruiters they may not have the technical knowledge uh, to ask questions in cipher so instead what we want to do is we want to build a layer on top of this graph database so that the recruiter can ask the questions in natural language and get the response uh, similar to here okay how do we do that the way we do that is when the recruiter ask a question like this we want to translate this into a cipher query under the hood and we will execute the cipher query on graph database so that we will get the answer okay so the recruiter is asking the question in english but under the hood we are converting this text into cipher query and executing it on the graph database so let's see how we do that okay so what we going to do is we are going to train fine tune an existing llm model uh, to output the corresponding cipher text for a given uh, natural language question okay so we are going to use a method called this adaptive tuning uh, lora the well known lora method is uh, comes under uh, the adaptive tuning okay so the way it works is so we have existing neural network llm neural network on top of it we add a small neural network which is called this adapter okay and then we freeze the weights of the existing or the pre trained network so we will be tuning the parameters of only the adapters okay so this way we can leverage uh, all the benefits of existing llm and we can quickly train the uh, uh, fine tune the model with a small amount of data and still keeping all the benefits of uh, existing llms okay but we don't have to worry how all this uh, is done under the hood uh, the cloud providers as well as these llm developers they have made it easy for us the real challenging task is uh, preparing the data once we prepare the data in the right format fine tuning uh, an llm model has become so easier these days okay now the important task is preparing the data in this format okay for example we'll have input text and then output text okay so this is the question we are asking for and this is the answer we are expecting right so this one would be in natural language and this is the output in cipher query format okay uh, we need one more thing uh, ask we need to provide the graph database schema in the input uh, prompt right so that the llm know what are all the attributes or the nodes the relationships 
the graph database has so that when it output the cipher query it uses those column names etc right for example uh, this is how it looks like so here is uh, one example of training data right this is only one example or one record we are going to create multiple uh, examples like this and then use that uh, for the training so the input prompt it consists of two uh, things one is obviously the question right so one is obviously the question so these are the type of questions the recruiter may be asking right so for example how many java developers attended more than one university okay so this is the question they want to ask now this is the output we wanted right so this is uh, the equivalent uh, query in cipher language right so here we are matching uh, all the persons who has the skills and then we are doing the same we are matching all the persons with education and we are doing it again uh, i'll explain the reason uh, this is uh, like self joining in relational database right so basically the question is how many java developers attended more than one university so here we have person as a node we wanted to know what their uh, skill set is and we wanted to know what their education is so for that what we are doing is we are matching each node with the skills and then we are matching each a person with the education and then we are doing this self joining type of thing so that we can count how many uh, uh, how many universities they have attended right so then we want to apply the where classes right so here we are saying uh, the name the skill name so uh, s is the skill right so the skill name uh, skill contains uh, the java right it could the, the the skill could have been maybe java developer or java expect uh, expert etc right so we are looking for the word java in the skill name and then here we are checking e1 that's also education e2 also is an education so these two are not equal right meaning we are counting how many universities the person has attended who has the skill java right so here we are counting uh, the distinct uh, 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 persons right um all right now given this string uh, or the question as an input in order to produce this result uh, the llm needs to know the schema as well right so that's why the first part contains uh, the schema of the uh, graph database uh, this we have already seen a, a couple of times so basically it's this person the person has these two attributes the role and the description and person has the relationship uh, which is this position and this is the node uh, position okay so the position uh, as we discussed before each node will have a label and id two mandatory parameters and then these are the uh, additional attributes like title location start date end date okay so this uh, define uh, uh, one relationship between the node person and the position and similarly we had uh, three other relationships right so it's exactly the same we have the node uh, the position uh, the attributes are uh, the location start date end date uh, and the uh, url the relationship is company and company has only one attribute which is name right and you can understand these two so uh, so we need to prepare a json line file which contain as many examples as we can for training the or fine tuning the llm right so just for clarity i am repeating so the input text should have two variables one is this input text and the second one is the output we wanted so in this particular case the input text is going to be a question in natural language and the output is going to be the equivalent cipher query but in order to generate the cipher query the llm needs to know what the database schema is right so that's why this contain two parts the first part is the database schema and the second one is uh, the question in natural language so this is just one example okay then what we do is we prepare uh, 
I think it's this one. Yeah. So we prepare as many examples uh, as we can. So this is the one example which we just saw. Uh, input text. So the schema, the question, uh, that's the input. And then this is the output. So similarly, here uh, we have uh, a number of examples. So the schema will remain the same. But as you can see here, the questions will change and also the output will change. So, okay. So here are the questions. Uh, where are most Python stats located? Who went to most number of universities? Do I have any expert uh, on mainframes? Right? As you can imagine, these are the sorts of questions uh, the talent finders or the recruiters uh, may be asking. Now, for each question, we have the corresponding uh, query in cipher language okay so to fine tune an llm all we need is just this one file okay where we have uh, the examples uh, now we can do exactly the same uh, to fine tune a model to generate sql queries okay it will uh, here we will have relational database schema where we might have multiple uh, tables not just uh, one table and then we have the question and then uh, we have the corresponding a uh, sql query Okay, so we can follow the exact same method uh, to fine tune a model to generate SQL queries uh, given uh, 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 text in natural language. Okay, so we already have this uh, file uh, provided uh, by the uh, Neo4j partners. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, to train the model, uh, we need this uh, uh, data file on Google Cloud Storage. So here uh, we are simply uh, creating the Google storage, Google cloud storage, GCS client, and then uploading this file, uh, this JSON L file, uh, into a bucket we defined. Okay. So I have already created a bucket in my Google storage account and, uh, uh then we uploaded uh, this file. Okay. Now when to, in order to do, fine tune all we need is we access the base model which is in this case text bison uh, from vertex ai and with just one api call uh, we will be able to fine tune these models so we are saying hey fine tune this model and the most important one is providing this training data okay so at this location we have our json l file and then uh, we provide how many steps we want to train and then uh, where should the training instance be running and where should uh, the trained artifacts uh, should be uh, saved, okay? So as I said before, to fine tune any LLM model, the most important and the difficult task is actually preparing the training data. Once we have done that, a fine, we don't need to do any coding to fine tune the model. Okay, so the all LLM, LLMs and the cloud providers, uh, they have provided high level APIs so that it's easy for us to fine tune. Now, when we run this command, what's happening under the hood is, so GCP is doing a number of things. Uh, so the pipeline definition is already defined by GCP, but it's just validating a number of things. For example, it is uh, uh, exporting this data to the training instance and then it is going through this file to make sure uh, the format is correct right so the format this format and also uh, we have the schema we have the question and we have the output text so it is validating uh, that file uh, and then converting each record into this tensorflow records and then adding this adapter uh, to the existing neural network and doing the training and uploading the model artifacts and finally deploying uh, an endpoint okay now unfortunately uh, it is throwing this error of 500 uh, internal error it's completely useless error for example on google cloud uh, you go to vertex ai and you go to pipeline so when you submit the job uh, this is the definition of the pipeline but as I mentioned, it is throwing this completely uh, useless uh, internal error. I uh, spent quite a lot of time to figure out, uh, I mean, what the problem is 
uh, but it seems like it's it's just random i mean i did not find a solution but the important thing here is uh, we learn how to fine tune an llm model to generate programmatic queries given uh, the queries in natural language okay so that's how uh, we will fine tune uh, an llm model okay I'm sorry I could not fix this error uh, but again it doesn't matter we are just learning uh, how to do uh, the process uh, if I find a solution then I will uh, share it with you okay that's all for this video thank you very much